We are at Clear Lake. Here for the next couple of days, one thing that I did bring is that big black backpack. That actually has a boat in it. Hopefully none of this will end up making the blooper reel. Dude, I cannot believe there's not a frog bite going on here. All right, so far so good. We're floating. If anything, I'm surprised we haven't hooked into something like a catfish. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, that feels like a kitty. All right, time for a sleigh ride. Oh, first inflatable kayak fish. Oh, oh my God, I got one on the fall. Oh, that's another catfish. There we go. Megan! What's going on? Uh, oh, just dealing with that. A tree fall down in my backyard. Typical huh. day in the neighborhood. I launched out of the backyard of that Airbnb and caught a big catfish. Up in here, everybody's catching catfish on everything. Are you gonna be able to fish Wednesday? Yeah, figure something out. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Later. Later. Day one or half day one over. Another thing that I noticed out there, lack of grass. Lack of that kind of explains to me why maybe people are saying the frog bite's pretty non-existent. Not a bad start to the trip. I'll certainly take it. <laughs> First cast of the jig. Alrighty, no skunk, that's good. Here we go. There we go. Clear Lake, man. Four and a half pounder. It's only an 18 and a half inch fish here. <laughs> man, a little flip fish. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, a little boss grub. Another hefty fish, though. Off the water, back at the Airbnb, but definitely gonna get back out on the water. A lot of what people are saying is true. These fish are definitely grouped up. If you run into a little pack of them, you definitely should milk it for all it's worth. That is going to do it for part one at Clear Lake. Definitely excited to get back out on the water this evening, and I will see you guys in the next video for part two. All right, folks, welcome back. As you just saw, packed up the inflatable, which we were using when we first got here to Clear Lake. Right outside this lovely Airbnb is a nice little slough that connects right to Clear Lake and brought that to get a quick trip in last night when we arrived. It was my first time in an inflatable kayak and so far so good. Didn't pop it, didn't flip, and caught a couple of monster catfish out of it. Today I was figuring we'd do that again this evening. Already spent the morning out on Clear Lake. Had a little intermission here back at the Airbnb. Figured we'd head out again this evening. I thought maybe we'd take the inflatable right to where we were catching those catfish yesterday, but the wind was a little bit much and not the easiest landing a big old catfish from an inflatable. Obviously those things are designed to be very puncture resistant, but man, I'll tell you what, probably one good recipe to puncture that thing be to hook into a catfish and have it flop right next to the boat and stick a hook right in that boat. So packing that up and I think we're going to take the normal kayak, the Titan, to a launch just down the street and actually launch the boat and then head towards where we're staying if that makes any sense. That is the plan. Oh, you know what we got to do? We got to call. Hang on. Got to call the coach, see what his uh, status is. Hello? What's up, coach? Oh, just driving around, saving California's highways. Ah. Thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. How's your uh, tree situation? I'm uh, still waiting for a phone call from the tree company. Do what you need to do. I think it gets dark at like what, 8.30, 9 o'clock? Yeah, something like that. It's up to you. I don't know how far a drive it would be for you to get home and then drive to County Park. Uh, 20 minutes or so. Oh, that's not bad, 20. not bad at all. Okay, just keep me in the loop. I'm gonna probably head down in about an hour and start fishing. I'll definitely let you know if you if you need to make it worth your while. Copy. All right, I'll talk, to, right. talk to you soon. All right. Later. See ya. So yeah, that's the game plan. To start this video off, we spend another evening fishing on Clear Lake. Then tomorrow, another full day out on Clear Lake and uh, hopefully can get on some more and some better quality fish tomorrow. Yeah, we're at Clear Lake. Let's get fishing.
righty, well, let's get her started. 3.45, I think I'll be out here for another four or five hours, I want to say. Again, not too far from the Airbnb. You can see on the map right here. It's not too far. So I think we're going to basically work our way over towards where we're staying, but obviously now we're in a much bigger, stable platform. Actually got a net. Don't have to land those fish by hand. That's assuming they're still there and they're still biting. I said this in the other video, but I got to say it again and emphasize it. This time around in August, there's no grass. Dude, these areas in the previous years choked full of grass. I mean, it was topping out over here, and I think that's why the frog bite was so good back here in previous years. That topped out, matted up grass, so we don't have any grass. I mean, look at the graph. It is like nothing out here. Probably not a coincidence is out in front of where we're staying, where we caught those catfish, there was some grass. That could be the key ingredient in this part of the lake, which could be holding some fish. guys are carp. Okay. Just be criminal not to throw a frog up in this area. frog bite I feel like it would have been here some shade some grass it's out of the wind it's off a of main lake point I think it's criminal that these fish aren't biting the frog where they're supposed to be this place is littered with fish <laughs> the side imaging crazy I think a lot of them are carp because I've seen a lot of carp jump but eh, could be catfish in here too hopefully bass I mean, I'm not gonna roll out the bass. That's a catfish right there. See, that's a catfish. I saw that. I think they're just out here schooling on bait, those cats. Got him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a cat. That was the cat, probably, we just saw. I kind of don't know what to do right now. It's just about six o'clock. Do I stay in this area and just hope that they show up? Or do I work my way back towards the launch and fish some new stuff? The problem is we did fish our way to the spot and I didn't see anything I really liked. I obviously didn't even get a bite. I don't know. kitty or a big bass is that where the cats went over here geez I got a shark on well, maybe the cats shifted over here it's bigger than it was last night Big old kitty. Shower, I guess. Oh man, it's a big catfish. Ah, way easier to land, you guys, with a net and a bigger kayak. Man, it's a monster. That's a big catfish, guys. I don't know what's up the front GoPro. It's all goofed up again. Might be time to upgrade cameras here. I'm having so many camera issues lately. That was fun. Let's do that again. Yeah, the ones I caught yesterday were definitely not that big. They were manageable to land by hand from the inflatable. That one would have been really tough. Yeah, 
weighted jigs, football jigs, lipless crankbaits, crankbaits, worms, you name it. These catfish on Clear Lake eat bass baits. The only one I don't think they eat is a topwater bait. Never heard of a catfish eating like a topwater frog or chopper or whatever, buzz bait. Every other place I've fished in the country, Delta, I mean, even in the Finger Lakes where there's tons of catfish, really never caught a catfish while fishing for bass. Maybe, maybe once on a place other than Clear Lake. Oh, just got smoked again. Got smoked again. Keep getting it. Are you a kitty or are you a bass? Just weird that they do this here and seemingly here only i mean unless you guys know of another place let me know in the comments below where catfish eat bass lures frequently that's like a bass this bass good bass nice Big fat bass in the grass. Beautiful. All right, bonus. Didn't think we'd be catching bass over here, but I'll take it. I will take it. Funny, now you like know. Catch a handful of catfish, you know, within five seconds, or you're pretty confident. If you have a catfish or a bass. Bass. Right at the boat. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bonus fish. Catching bass on clearly, who would have thought? gracious a shower after a full day basically out on clear lake can't beat it cannot beat it especially when you got catfish all over you but guys that is going to be the first little uh, segment of fishing on clear lake if you're keeping a running tally including the previous video we've been here for about a day and a half i'd say we've been on the water for i don't know 13 14 hours total and we have a few big catfish we've got some bass on the jig a couple of flip fish and then tonight obviously that one big catfish and a few more bass on a bladed jig so yeah successful trip so far can't complain i know this place has a great reputation and it deserves the reputation it has but the past i don't know year and a half or so here it's been really tough more often than not honestly just happy to find some fish that are willing to bite plan tomorrow is one more day of fishing dutcher aka the coach will be joining us apparently that fallen tree gave him a little bit more of a headache than he was bargaining for so he had to take care of that tonight and couldn't join us and other than that i will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for our final day at clear lake Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? Okay. Ready to catch some fish? Yeah. I hope we do. Better. Let's see. Good Yesterday, to see you. Too, man. Yesterday they were, uh, man, they must have been running right through there because it was like boom, boom, and that graph was lit up. Get your tree situation sorted out? No, not yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the coach. Morning. How you doing? Good. Day off work. Go fishing. Yeah, it's funny. You, I mean, maybe it's not funny, but it's interesting to me because you literally live on this lake, yet you hardly fish it at all. I hardly ever fish here. <laughs> I don't. Is there a reason? Um, I think it's just mainly because I don't like fishing grass. I like to fish reservoirs. Well, the good news is the first spot we're going to go to and check, no, no grass, grass, no grass. Actually, there's hardly any grass left in this lake, at least where I went. Yeah, I, uh, like I said, I haven't fished. I can't remember. Let's see here. When was the last time I fished here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, well, that's an interesting little fun fact that we're here. 6.30 a.m. Clear Lake, another beautiful 
gorgeous morning. No time constraints. Awesome. Should we do a challenge? Yeah, let's do it. We did the challenge last time we were here. The one day we did 20 fish total. Keepers, we'll say keepers. 20 keepers, yeah. All right, so that's the challenge between the both of us, Coach and I, 20 keeper fish on Clear Lake. Uh, I think it's gonna be tough. Really, I haven't, I didn't. I think I only caught eight or nine yesterday, five, six hours out on the water, and a lot of them were in one little spot. Kind of had to. Well, that's the one thing I have heard is fish are grouped up. I, if you find a group of them, you can catch them, but if you can't find the schools. Struggle. It's a struggle. And I've also heard that the catfish are just going crazy. Yeah, we know about the catfish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you heard it. There's a challenge, 20 fish today between the both of us. Clear Lake, let's go. Let's do it. You want to just start fishing around here? Yeah. I think this is where that shelf kind of starts. There's like a bunch of like five inch bass up shallow. If you if you throw like a top water or anything, all these like five inches you'll chase it. <laughs> First cast, you hook your motor. You need some help there? to work. I'm going to get trying to throw something with the treble. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, there we go. Nice one. Get us started. I'm going to say me and Coach were making our way to the spot we wanted to go to, but there's like three boats sitting on it, so we just stopped and started fishing on another pretty good looking spot, though. There's a fish here. Maybe it's meant to be. Yeah, slip them. Nice one. Good one to start. All right, number one, fatty. Please be more of you. Catch one more, we'll have to give Coach a call. See if we can work on this school together. Teamwork. See if I can just maybe stay off of it. <laughs> All right, maybe it was meant to be not going to that first spot. Oh yeah. Another fatty. Whew. Hey, I just caught two in a row on the shoal, uh, that main point, so I'd probably get over here for you. Alright. Alright, sit. Cool. Man, it was like the same thing happened yesterday. It caught like two quick, and then I don't know if they just like moved or what. I mean, there's fish all up on this. Yeah. But I don't know if there's like one like group of bass that's just kind of chasing bait around or what. Cause I didn't even, like the jig got bit like on the fall both times. I think a finesse jig would be what we'd be mainly fishing this trip to Clear Lake. No, that was a good one. Oof. That was a nice one. Dang it. 
got to use that one for the quota. It's going to be tough. 20 is going to be tough. We barely made it last time. I think we did it too, and the bite was pretty good. It was a spring spawning deal. Obviously a pretty optimal time to do a numbers challenge. It's going to be a little more challenging in the summer. Look at all the bait below us. A skinny one. Doesn't really look like your typical clear lake fish. Huh. Well, that little spot, is it going to be the same thing as the other times? <laughs> Catch two and then it's dead? I don't know. Feel there, big. Now he's gonna jump. Ooh, now he realizes he's gone. Alrighty, alrighty. Number four. Number four. Hope coach is doing some work. the jump I'm ready for you <laughs> ah, it's a lot of fun number five looks like a skinny post spawn one these fish over here seem to be skinnier than the ones we're catching over there yeah, if we do some work right here, we can put a big dent in this challenge. I'm definitely on pace right now. About 8 o'clock, already got 5. Seems like the bite is better today, too. Maybe let this spot rest. I just want the jig board. I, I don't know. Number six, another jig fish. Hmm. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, something got her. Got her and spit her. Got her and spit her. I'm so curious, like, well, why don't they eat other baits? Stopped it. Another little pile of them, eh? Ooh, that's a good one. wondering why they wouldn't eat something else. They're clearly munching baits, so why wouldn't you a bait profile? Alright, is that number seven I believe? Definitely another little area of fish. It's a net one. 
if it cuts in that one. He's not even that big, but he's just super strong. There's a nice one. There's a nice one. Oh. Thank you, sir. Good solid fish. Can't beat it. Number eight. Definitely got our money's worth on this jig. It's funny how you can miss all this stuff too, and I totally could have because these tulies are in about five, six foot of water and they look so primed to flip and frog and just don't really fish the outside stuff. Obviously that's where all the fish are, or a big bulk of them. I want to call Dutch over, but I feel like every time I call him over, the fish leave. I don't know. I mean, there's fish definitely grouped up over here, but I think they're just swimming around this island. So much bait over here compared to other parts of the lake that I've seen. Yeah, that's a fatty. Oh. Well, didn't get its name the Bass Factory without good reason. Nice chunk right there. Right now, that fish in the delta would be like a giant. Same little spot. What's that number nine? Jeez, we've almost met our technical quota of 10, assuming me and Dutch split even 10 and 10 all day. Man, I want to keep throwing this jig, but I don't know. I'm just like picturing in my mind what's going on over there. There's like a little ledge or something. It's, there's some hard bottom. It's like when I knock into that hard bottom of that ledge, it's when I get bit. So I don't know if these fish are just sitting on it or cruising around it. I just want to kind of mix up the baits a little bit on them and show them something different. Cold touch just in case. Just in case he's struggling. Hello. Well, you cracking them or what? I only caught one. Oh, really? Yeah, how many you caught? Nine. What? Yeah, I, I'm right on that island I went to. I've had a few little flurries of them. They're, I think they're, there's a lot of them just swimming around this island. I'd come over here if I were you. I'm not saying I'm on like some fat school, but there's a ton of bait over here. And I mean, there's a lot of fish, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here in the uh, little pocket. I've seen some bait and stuff, but I haven't gotten any bite through I mean, I'd come over here if I were you. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I think they're just all around this island. 10, 15 foot. On a uh, on a jig and mainly a jig. Oh, he's got an underspin fish. Oh, uh, that's a big one. That might be a kitty. I'll catch up with you here in a little bit. All right. Yep. See you in a bit. That might be a kitty. He's got the head swirl. Yeah, I think we got a kitty. Going for a sleigh ride. Gracious. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that, just popped right out. Golly. Yeah, that was interesting. Still on nine. Get a little jig back out. Coming up on the spot. <laughs> I just left it for like 10 minutes working that catfish, so fish should have reset on it, I'd assume. All right, I'm gonna just let you make the cast because I, I, I have to prove that I'm not lying when I get on these schools. So you see the point in front of me? Mm -hmm. See the second one? Mm -hmm. Cast past the second one or just about to it, about like 15, 20 yards to the left of it with a spider grub and just drag it through the rocks. 
Okay. No pressure. That's the cast right there. It could have gone a little further, but that'll probably work. And then just let it sit. I think it's like eight foot there. And then just drag it up through the rocks. There you go. Yeah, bring her in, bomb it past that point a little further out. <laughs> oh, I think you had something following it in. <laughs> That whole tree gonna fall? Yep. Oh my god. That was pretty good timing. Alright. So now it's done. It's the first time I've gotten snagged up. There's no way they left. I was literally getting bit on every cast. <laughs> <laughs> of course that's what's going to happen. Oh, I knew that was going to happen to you. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, this is wild. I cannot believe it. We can't get bit now. How funny is that? Alright, next time I find a school, I'm not calling you. Big one. Yeah, I thought it was big. That initial hook set. Stay off. Make a cast there. I'm gonna try to stay off the spot because I think that they are grouped up. There we go. Finally. That's a good one. Oh yeah, he's a fatty. Yeah, look how thick that is, man. Fatty. We're on our way. Think it's gonna happen? I knew I saw one bust in the distance on these toolies. And I just saw one for sure. It might just be one, it might be a few, who knows. Yeah, it's right there somewhere. Oh no! That was the one. Dang it, I put a hook in him too. He's not gonna bite again. That was a big one. I don't. I, I'm not sure if it was just one in there or it was a few of them. Oh, that sucks. I put a hook in them. There we go. In the toys. Yeah. Big one. Stay on, dude. Stay on. Wow. Come on, man. Thule is the strongest material in the freaking world. Are you serious? Oh my god. You know what I'm on? I think I'm like a branch or something. Ah. There she is. Alright, that brings us to 15, I think. I just lost another good one, flipping. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, a skinny post boner. 15. Maybe the bite's picked up a little bit. Maybe. Got one. There we go. Dutch. Dutch. All right, number one, Dutch. Finally, it is definitely getting tougher. That should count. 16. 1230, 16 fish. We need some uh, last minute heroics or maybe some ramp fish heroics. Man, I'm glad we didn't cross. It's ripping over there. Like white caps. 
We fish our way into Bredos? Yeah. All right. You know, if we go in the marina and you catch him up and we get our 20, Mike's never going to let you live it down. <laughs> Catching him by the ramp. Catfish or micro? A keeper? All right, that's a keeper. 17. We're getting kind of close to the ramp. All righty, man, it's over. What time is it? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. About eight hours out there. Well, we'll just cut to the chase. Mission failed. Failed. We tried. We came close. Well, you came close. I didn't. Got 17 on the day and morning was good. I mean, for me personally, I feel like you were right when you said this morning, like if you find fish, they're grouped up. And I just found a couple of areas that had two, three fish and then one area that had like six or seven that I caught. Yeah, I mean, all I, all I could manage was a random fish here and there. I only caught four. Tough day for me, but. And every time I invited you over to fish the school, yep. they would just leave. Just far enough away to where when you found a school, we couldn't capitalize on it. Yeah, well, I mean, came close. I knew it was gonna be tough. I mean, yesterday, when I came out here yesterday, the bite wasn't super on. Just one spot really produced some fish for me and then everything else was junk fishing. Fish were definitely grouped up in the morning and then after like 9.30, gone, vanished. I don't know if they went deeper or if some of those fish went up shell. Some fish were definitely active up shell. I think, yeah, because I heard quite a few blow-ups in the toolies, but yeah. I don't know, it could have been a carp puller, but pretty sure I saw at least one bass in there. And you saw me lose a frog saw, fish. Saw you missed that frog I'll fish. I'll say this, if I fish completely 100% clean today, we would have had 20. And I lost three. Anyways, any final words, final thoughts? We got, no, Del we got Delta after this, right? Got the Del Delta coming up, what, next week? Of course, it's off limits as of right now. It's one of the reasons I'm up here at Clear Lake. And you know, all things considered, the two days I was here, or two and a half days, pretty good. Caught fish, had fish, bass. Wish there was a top water bite, wish there was a frog bite, but not the grass. It's I just don't think that happens. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the grass. There's no way they could have sprayed all of it. Like I said, I don't like fishing grass, but. Well, you better get ready for the Delta then. I know. I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Clear Lake series. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.